Welcome back to Midford Pottery. We will be trimming. So we got, we threw these agate ware mugs the other day. They're all dry and ready to trim and add handles to. So I'm going to speed this up. So I'll see you at the end of the trimming. And it's pretty basic. I've thrown them where they're relatively thin uh, base, so they don't. So there's only about sort of what's that? About five mil thickness or so. So they don't need the base is trimming too much. It's literally smooth them and round them. And to speed it up, I'm going to use the Giffen grip a little bit. I know Simon Lee should be cursing Giffen grips. Don't use them. So on these, I like say I'm going to start, I'll speed it up, and I'll see you when we get the handles. So I'll speak to you in a minute. <laughs> Right, that's the last one of them done. So just a very, very gentle trim. Handles, handles, handles. So we'll have a whirler and we have some hand pulled handles. Waiting for us here. I'm just going to pop them over there so they don't fall off. Like so. Can we move that up a smidge? Uh, that'll do us there nicely. Again, I'll run through the first one. And, oh, we need. We have our little pot of uh, thumb rests and uh, Maker's Mark sprigs to go on here as well. So, let's see, I'll run through the first one and then speed the rest up. Which colour shall we go for? Voiced. We'll go for this fella. And what I do want is the trusty yoghurt pot. Make sure they are nice and round. So it's just uh, any old food pots. Gives you that round shape so you don't have to muck about. And we have to pick our spot. So we're going to start there. Scratchy, scratchy there. So there's our scratch there. I'm not doing the bottom yet. So I'm going to select my handle. So they're all slightly different. So we will go. We'll go for this one. I've just rested them on a curve. Just it can help a little bit. So we just tap the end. Just 
just spreads the clay out a little bit. We roughen that edge up. We need that slip open. Slip. Got a brush. Slip on there. Slip on there. Now, if you do it on a whirler, it gives you that height for the handle. So, what we want to do is hold the cup, body, apply pressure, wiggle it till it grips. And what I tend to do is, because I'm doing agate wear, I'll run my finger around just to get rid of that thick bit of slip. And then so I'm dragging the clear down from the handle to the body. Now what I'm trying to do, because it's agate wear, I'm trying not to blend the base white clear into the colors too much, which is a bit tricky. Sometimes it looks okay, sometimes it looks... Not as okay, shall we say. So I'm literally, it's just pin to, because it's a fine curve that you're that I'm working on. So that's pretty much attached. So we can leave that now. Now we can work on attaching the next bit so I'm going to gently curve it to a shape I like I like that shape there and again with a pin tool you can use it as a knife so I take that off at a bit of an angle so when I blend that in check that yeah, maybe just go a little bit more Take a little bit more off. So that's just going to go at the base there. And what I tend to do is I line it up so it stays in place. Have a look. That's all right. That's in line. Look down from the top. That's all right. So what I tend to do, just gently keep your thumb next to it. Move it over where it was, give it a quick scratch to roughen that up. A little dab of slip on there. Reposition the handle. Give it a bit of pressure. Make sure it's in line and all angles. It's all right. Now put my fingers behind it inside and apply pressure to that. As you can see, the slip oozes out. And then it's a case of uh, wipe and blend. Where's my tiny little sponge gone? So we'll get our little damp sponge again. So I'm just doing the top of the handle now the underneath bit, we'll clean the tool off and we'll just blend that in gently. Just 
just so it looks nice. Get our sponge pretty dry. Do that. I'll put it on here, support the handle. smooth off and then we'll go back to the top bit and apply a little bit of moisture in there like so, clean sponge. Wipe that off there, like so. That's not too bad. Clean that. So there's our handle. Um, they are more precarious on agate wear because this stuff's pretty dry. So handles can separate as the dry so they're going to go really slow make a cloth i think that's all right i'll faff on with this for ages probably till i'm happy but we'll try not to because it's a video I think we'll leave it at that so next bits on these and then i'll uh i'll probably cut to the last one and do a sum up so where's our pot make sure we're still round so we'll put our yogurt pot in so we're still round and we'll leave that in now i've got to find the matching color so we got our our little sprigs made up I think it's that one there. It's that one. I think it's them ones. What we got next? Put them next to their pots because they shouldn't dry up too quick. That one there. Right, they're all lined up. So, we got two. We got a disc got a disc which is going to be our maker's mark now these do have a tendency to stick to the stamp so just a light bit of pressure like so so we got that gently corks them out so there we've got our, our maker's mark and this one, we got our thumb rest. So a thumb rest goes on. So we score that bit. We score underside. A light so. Um, damn it try not to get it on the top <laughs> like I starved just done bit on there bit on there position that on there make sure it's in the middle apply pressure give it a wiggle so it grips Little sponge. Just run around the joint. So there's our thumb rest on. Now, we want our little button 
make his mark. So again, I'm just going to score the back. Make sure we got the right way up. Then we got to pick where we're going to put it. Where we're going to put it on this one. We'll go at this side. And we'll go the other side. Go this side. So I'm just going to make. Patch there, then I'm going to put a blob of slip on there, blob of slip on there. Make sure we are the right way around. Touch that onto there. Now with these, don't want to apply too much pressure because you squash your maker's mark into oblivion. So let's just give it a wobble so it grips. Then sharp edge of our sponge. We will go around that edge. Like so, so we get that on. This one's a doubler. It's got to make a mark underneath as well. And there you go. So I'll uh, I'll do the rest, and we'll have a sum up at the end. So I'll speak to you in a minute. So we're back, just finishing off the last agate wear mug. So we just got the handle on. We are just finessing. The handle just there. Uh, try not to muddy the grain of the agate wear too much. Make sure there's no bumps on the handle. It's all right. So all we got to do is do the last thumb rest. So we just score that. Score that. Slip that. Slip that. Position it on the handle. Give it a wiggle, apply pressure, gentle pressure, make sure it's in the middle, sponge, just wipe the excess off, that keeps our thumb rest on, and what I was doing wrong with our little uh, maker's mark sprigs, I was stamping the sprig first, the easy way to do it is Score the area that it's going on, like so. Score the back of your sprig. Slip it. Bit of slip on there. Bit of slip where it's going. This way you don't smudge your maker's mark. So make sure you've got the right way. We'll go that way. Press your disc of clay on, like so. Again, sharp edge of a sponge. Take the excess out of the way. Then, get your maker's mark, make sure you got the right way up. In the middle. Squish it on. And there, you have. And the pressure of you squashing it on helps it stick on. Just get any excess slip out the way. And there you go. 
So that can join this board of mugs over here. So we'll give it a quick run past the camera. So there you go. All done. And these have to have to dry very, very slowly. So they, they could be a week and a half drying. So thanks for watching. Remember, clears the way, and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.